the lungs, blood cancers. So, you know, you got to remember, you're not teaching a right. two-year-old this. You're yeah. not, you're teaching an eight, 10, 12-year-old these things because they can comprehend the whole conversation. You got to mm. teach to the level. You say, well, it's different because it's medicine. It's not the, you know, tobacco is really dangerous. It's really addictive. It gets in your teeth makes the house smell funny. It's not the same. And mm-hmm. cannabis, it's it's just different. It's a, it's a different kind of material. You'll you'll get it as you get older. You know, you you just got to remember your your the cohort, the age group that you're trying to get to understand your subject. It's an ongoing conversation, right? It is a conversation, but you know, as he gets older, you know, there's it's deeper conversations. Okay, well, this is a it's a, it's a communal thing. It's a bonding thing. It's it's mm. something for adults. Mm-hmm. And finally, what are your final nuggets of advice for parents, new parents or parents who are new to cannabis, who want to try and find some sort of product that will work to help them truly chill this holiday season? Cara? Well, if they're first time trying cannabis, period, um, you know, make sure there's another adult around because you mm. may not know how you're going to react to it. Five milligrams for me five milligrams for you is not the same as five milligrams for somebody else. You know, I can, you know, I'm, I'm relatively low dose person. I take a couple hits off a joint and I'm like, okay, this is level. I'm good. You Mm -hmm. know, other people are like, I smoke three joints when I grill a thumbs, when I wake up in the morning just to get my day going. And, you know, some people are like, I can't touch the stuff until I'm right before bed. So if you don't know where you are on that scale, I have another adult around. But I mean, be honest, like it's the same as, you know, Auntie Joan having a glass or a bottle of wine. It's the same, same thing. But Mm -hmm. you don't, we're not judging people. We're not making assumptions about people. You know, it's not none of your business. What Mm -hmm. other people do with their bodies is none of your business. And this shit, like this is, uh, we need to all be teaching our kids this for so many areas of the world. Mm -hmm. What other people do with their bodies is none of your business. I like that. (laughs) I like that. It goes in so many different areas. What they're eating, what they're wearing, how they color their hair, what they weigh. Like, none of your your business. Compliments are always welcome. But Mm -hmm. if it's not a compliment and it's none of your business, (laughs) zip it. Zip it. (laughs) Christy, your advice? Just embrace it and you know it's okay I think we all have so many stigmas there are so many like oh should I do this should I not like oh coming back to Colorado completely changed it because it is so normal here Mm -hmm. you get certain parts of the state and you're like well this is Colorado okay (laughs) um really just for people who want to do it around the holidays a do it at nighttime when there's no family or kids around. I would say start this before the holidays, but make sure know what your tolerance is. Mm-hmm. I can take a lot of te- have a lot of THC, and I'm more coherent. My spouse is the opposite because <laughs> he'll have two and be like, "Ooh, <laughs> um, he will not do anything until Rosie's asleep." Yeah, our little munchkin. And yeah. Parents are doing the hard work and you deserve to take a little break when it's the dang holidays. Even if you're visiting family, you can take a pen and go stand outside or go get in your car. Yeah, careful. Mm -hmm. Careful. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely. So um, the holidays are a time to relax and to show our appreciation for you. One of our fabulous local producers, we've got a little goodie bag from them for you. Oh, there's a hash rosin pen in here. Cherry That's pie, lovely. hash rosin. La. God bless you, bountiful forms. So they're giving <laughs> um, these little goodie packages to all of the parents that are chatting with us just to say mm-hmm. uh, happy holidays. Yes. Amy, anything for brand new mums or, you know, curious parent consumers? Uh, new parent, it's going to be be very kind and gentle with yourself. Mm. Everyone's talking about gentle parenting and being gentle with your children. Be gentle to yourself. This is such a hard job and transition. And there's a lot of shame and guilt out there to be handed out either by yourself or from others. So mm. um, in the tough moments, just 
you know, be kind to yourself and, and remind yourself that you're a person and you're doing the best that you can and to love yourself because that's the best way to love your children. Um, and then for new to cannabis people, I would say start slow. Always start slow. Yeah. Um, I always recommend a journal um, when I'm at the, the medical dispensary. You know, just like write down your experiences, even if they're like two or three words jotted down. Just find a way to track that information on like how you're being affected. And then just to remember your goals, right? You know, are, is it just for relaxation? Is it just recreation? That's perfectly fine and nothing mm-hmm. to be ashamed of. But just kind of be aware of that going in. Or, you know, if, if the goal is pain, Maybe do a little research on on what products are out there that that might specialize in that, right? Like some CBD or CBG involved in the consumption yeah. method. So yeah, be gentle on yourself and be slow with yourself are my two recommendations. <laughs> That's such good advice. Thanks so much, Amy. Thanks for coming on the show. You know, thank you for having me. Yeah, it was a pleasure. And Kara and Christy, thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> A big, big thanks to our guests today, Amy, Cara, and Christy. And a big thanks to Bountiful Farms for donating some wonderful little gift packages for each of our parents to enjoy this holiday season. Next week, we'll be looking at how professionals purchase cannabis so we can learn how to select our very best products this holiday season with Boston's Rooted In Dispensary. Subscribe wherever you're listening right now so you don't miss that episode. And make sure you're following us on social media at Different Leaf. And I'm on social media at Brit the British. Make sure you've got your full issue of Different Leaf, the magazine 2023. It's our last issue before we take a little hiatus. You can get your issue now at differentleaf.com or go to the subscribe and shop tab to find your local in-person retailer. That's differentleaf.com.